look, I am 57. I'm a little on the way closer to heaven. I, I don't really much give a freaking frick frack about what's going down on here. Okay. I'm going to live my life the best I can. So I'm going to laugh the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh about dumb things. I'm going to laugh about extremely funny things. And I probably laugh about some tragedies because that's just the kind of person I am. Not I that know. I need to. I, have. I don't need to. I, I really don't. The older I to. get, I really have a bad hat. Like, I laugh at the moment. Yeah, and I do too. Like, the worst possible time you can imagine. I can't yes. do it. It's like a defense mechanism now. Yeah, I, I feel like so terrible. It's like, oh, oh my, my God, God, oh my God, God that's terrible. Oh my God. my kids because they're laughing. So it's like, you know. It's a family tree trade, I guess. Honey, I'm not taking any hormones. Do I need some? I already said that, Martha. <laughs> I'm not taking any. Do I really need some? I, I, whatever God gave me, I guess. Not on no hormones. <laughs> you know, I'm all done with that hormonal whatever thing goes on. You know, 50th birthday. Ooh, Linda Free. <laughs> that was great. No, I'm not on hormones. Are you suggesting that I take some? Do I need to be in balance? <laughs> I mean, I could take some creative criticism here. I mean, I really take it to heart, but I kind of like me a little goofy. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of fun. I mean, life is so, so, so damn serious. And honest to God, or, oh, honest to Pete, or whoever Pete is. Anyway, he's supposed to be honest. Anyway, um, the way this world is going no, on, with all these tragedies honest. that are going on, I mean, come honest. on, every single <laughs> solitary day, somebody's poor child is being murdered or missing, somebody's killing their wife for a freaking another piece of ass down the street. I mean, this shit is ridiculous, okay? I mean, they're killing their family members because their dick got hard in a strong wind for somebody else. <laughs> what the hell is that shit? I mean, where does your DNA say, okay, I'm a daddy, I'm a husband, I say I do, and then, oh, forget all that shit. Forget that shit, and I'm never going to get caught at it either. It's going to be perfect. I'm just going to be able to just kill my family and go run away with my fucking mistress from heaven. I don't think so, you fucking weirdo. What the fuck are you freaking? <laughs> You know, I mean, you could have stayed off the vegetables for that one. I'm not lying. Okay. You know, your last name is Watts, but you didn't have not a fucking single thing current going through you at all. Okay. You were no light bulb on, buddy. I'll tell you that. You fucking freak. Damn. Oh, my God. You know, and then that freaking mother, you just her baby Noah. Oh, oh, I woke up and he was out of the trailer. Oh, you dumb bitch. You don't hear people <laughs> open up your trailer door. Oh, Fucking damn. don't tell me you're in a fancy ass creakless trailer that don't make noise when you walk through it or open up the <laughs> thing and it slams and your tin goes to la la la. Come on. I mean, you don't have to live in freaking <laughs> eight miles, but you, you know, your trailer's going to do a little bit of tingy noises when there's people <laughs> in around. I don't get it. I'm going to pop the fuck off right now. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> and this world just fucks with me. <laughs> oh, okay. shit. So I thought maybe we could laugh because all that tragical shit happens in this world. And there's more going to be tomorrow. So stay tuned for your next fucked up life coming at you tomorrow. <laughs> Martha said Linda for president 2020. <laughs> Fuck that. I wouldn't want that job. I will tell you what. Nobody would like me. You think you don't like Trump? Well, fucking stop. Because <laughs> you'd hate Linda. Motherfuckers would be pulling some shit. Let me tell you what. First of all, cops would be responsible for their fucking actions right away. Okay? Uh, we'll take that bill and... <laughs> And Edpa, stick that right up the next president's ass. Okay. That needs to go bye-bye too, okay? Yes. And then there's none of this trying fucking teenage kids with adult crimes in an adult prison. Stick that shit up your ass, because that ain't happening either. There's a lot of things that this bitch would change, okay? A lot so, of it. in other words, you need to run for president and change this thing. Um, yeah, but nobody would fucking... You know what? They take one look at me and say, that bitch has got her DNA is like, gee, somewhere along the line. No, she's uh -huh. ready to snap on somebody. She'll take the Oval <laughs> Office and to make it straight. Uh-uh, it ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, you know. All I know is that this is no, one messed up fucking planet we're on. 
So I do hope there are some people coming in Area 51. Maybe they could fucking tell us what is the right path we need to take to our new center. Because this fucking shit is wrong. You know, I swear to God. You can't drink the water in some parts of the United States. That's real healthy for you. Okay. You know, there's no jobs in some places. You know, some places their houses are so sad you wouldn't even fucking want to drive through the town. Oh my God, I can't freaking breathe. That was so funny, Jamie. I'm dying. <laughs> what did he say? He said, Who the fuck brought Rush Lindahl here? <laughs> Lindahl? Who's that? Oh my God. <laughs> if you don't know oh, who I that don't is, do politics at all. Seriously, do not. I do not even know who you're talking about. Because I don't do any kind of. I don't even know who our fucking vice president is. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, because I think it's a bunch of bullshit. It's a fucking book that they wrote a long time ago, and some people just don't want to be in the chapter at the right time. That's all I'm saying. For fuck's sake. <sighs> Linda, I think Denise needs to breathe. Well, I think that she's been... Listen, that time she came out of her mother and the doctor said, okay, crack, and she took a breath, that was a choice. But in the first minute, I have, Linda had to reassure us that there was no nicotine in her thing. So don't be worried because her and yeah. Lenny were going off somewhere. It was the stupidest thing. And I've never been, I haven't been able to come back from it. So everything she says, I'm dying. No soup, no soup for you. No soup. That's what I'd be telling all of them fuckers. Vote for me. I'm American. Yep. Vote for me. I'll change your life. Ah, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> you betcha, because there'll be a lot of boats on the way out to fucking somewhere, not fucking back here. <laughs> you betcha. Well, there's oh, your. And I'm not talking about. I'm not even talking about getting rid of uh, immigrants or none of that. I'm not. I'm talking about. Uh, listen, if we, if I could change the criminal justice system, that would be my big thing. That's what I would want to do. I don't know who has to run to president to do that kind of shit to make changes there, but somebody better get up on that stick real quick because this shit is getting a little bit fucking ridiculous, dude. Little kids doing fucking life in, in the worst prisons in life, okay? I mean, I fucking tell you what, I have been to Rikers Island. That is not no fucking place for a fucking human being. That's why they're trying to close the place, okay? Let me tell you what, it is, it is ridiculous that they would send us Khalif Brower, um, um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, Mr. Wise, Corey Wise, um, and there's been several other children that have been sent there. And um, you know what? Their life is never going to be the same ever because of that. Okay, first of all, Cleve Brower, Brower took his own life. That was how much it did to him. And he was never even charged with anything, okay? And they never even said they were sorry to this kid for taking three years of his life away where he was beat, gang beat, raped, everything else happening to this poor kid for a backpack that he never even touched, okay? And the people went back to their own country. That's how much it meant to them, okay? <laughs> and he sat in a cell because they can't get their shit together, okay? And then, you know, then of course you got the Central Park Five where they get, you know, beat and told what to say and coerced and all that. Bad as Brendan, okay? You know, we ought to just break all these people out of prison, dude. I swear to God. Let's just go get Brendan, okay? I'm on the bandwagon, let's go get Brendan. You know what I mean? It's just as sad. It, there has to be something that's gonna change. I mean, who can change these things? There gotta be something changed. It's got to happen. I can't see this going on forever. I can't see these kids that are, you know, wrongfully convicted. Anybody wrongfully convicted. Anybody who's living a, in prison for one day that is there for a crime they did not commit is an absolute travesty. It is an absolute constitutional breakdown of humanity as far as I'm concerned. I just do not understand it. And people that know that they're there purposely doing that them people should be put in the middle of town and have at it guys heard about stoning yeah back in the day they taught you a lesson all right okay so you're telling lies let's get your tongue cut out Shh, can't tell no more lies you know what i mean you're stealing let's cut off your fingers i mean it's got to be something to do no accountability for cops trump that's what i say Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm tired. <laughs>